today I'll be reviewing this budget 14 inch laptop that was sent to me by Banggood. Full disclosure, I received this laptop free of charge and have not been financially compensated for this review. If you want to buy one yourself, there's a link in the description with a coupon code you can use to save $30. So let's begin. T-Bow brings us a very thin and very light Windows 10 Ultrabook for a very competitive price. The light aluminium enclosure is very solid and honestly I was quite surprised how good the build quality is. The enclosure is made from metal and stays reasonably cool, even under full load. Powering this laptop is a 4 watt quad core Intel Apollo Lake N3450 CPU, clocked at 1.1 GHz, with a boost clock of 2.2 GHz. In Cinebench it scores around 129 on the multi-core and around 40 on the single core test. If you take the small cover off the back you'll find a single M.2 SSD slot, which is quite handy if you want to add more faster storage to this laptop. If we open up the laptop we can see that it is cooled passively without any fans. This gives us our first look at the 38 watt hour battery. This will get you around 5 to 7 hours of use on a single charge, doing basic tasks like web browsing. Pushing the computer to its limits while gaming will of course result in far shorter battery life. Speaking of gaming, this laptop really isn't powerful enough to run anything other than graphically simple titles. GTA 5 on the lowest settings at 720p pulls frame rates around 10 FPS, which is completely unplayable. Minecraft is playable with the settings turned down. The integrated Intel HD 500 graphics score around 11 FPS on the Cinebench graphical test. It also struggled playing a 4K video at 40 megabits a second. YouTube playback and web browsing was great. If you're not doing anything too demanding, this laptop would definitely suit your needs. Connectivity is also good. Sadly no USB Type-C, but two full-size USB 3.1 ports, micro HDMI, micro SD, and a headphone jack are adequate. One area they did cheap out was is definitely the power brick. It's functionally fine, but definitely looks cheap and not at all like a traditional laptop charger. So, to keep the price low, are there any other areas where cost-cutting measures have been taken? Well, that logo design. If only there was a way to remove it. Oh, wait. A little bit of methylated spirits and it comes right off. Honestly, it looks a lot better without the logo. So, I'm just here in a pretty well lit room. Uh, this is the audio and webcam quality. You tell me if it's any good. The trackpad uses Windows Precision drivers and gestures work great. The keys, while not having as much travel as I like, are decent to type on. So overall, a mostly comfortable input experience. The display is also surprisingly decent for a budget laptop. With the resolution of 1920x1080, a full 1080p, with great viewing angles and acceptable brightness and contrast. Of course, compared to my Dell XPS 15, there is no competition. It is nowhere near as bright and the colors are nowhere near as vibrant. One area this laptop definitely falls short in are its speakers. They have no bass and sound pretty bad if you don't EQ them. I got them sounding alright with this EQ setting I made. I've also noticed the system lagging while doing basic tasks like searching for a program. These lag spikes are few and far between, so not a big problem. So the question is, would I recommend this laptop? If you're someone that needs a cheap laptop that's very well built, has decent battery life and is very slim and light, I'd have to say yes. As long as you don't plan on playing many games or doing much graphically intensive work, this laptop would be ideal for you. For around 370 Australian dollars or 270 US dollars using the coupon code below, this laptop far outshines most of the low end laptops at this price point. Of course you could go out and get a second hand laptop for relatively little money, but if you want a brand new laptop and you're on a tight budget, you really can't go wrong with this one. Thanks so much for watching. On screen are some of my recent videos. If you want to buy one of these, there's a link in the description. Feel free to use the coupon code to get $30 off. One final thanks to Banggood for sending me this laptop to review. I'll see you in the next video.